come up with a novel idea and now today you are implementing it and presenting it to the students and the public that comes come to visit us. So definitely I think that when you present and exhibit these models, definitely it will impart a self-confidence within you. Definitely this will improve your creativity, self-confidence and it will provide you with a good future. So at this time, I wish all my students a great day and I pray that the Lord may bless all our children and may God bless our school. Once again, let me underline, I know both the principals, Mr. Swami Nabhan sir, Lindu Andrew sir, and the coordinators, Jyoti Lakshmi ma'am and Asha SP ma'am, with the team of our teachers, they tirelessly worked, they worked hard. Definitely, I personally do know that to make this program a mega event. So let my children, let us give them a big lot of applause, please. Yeah. Make it louder, make it louder. Yeah. So I appreciate all the teachers and all my principals and vice principals, teachers who made this event a mega event and may God bless all of us. Thank you. We are really indebted to you, sir. It is uh, seldom that we get an opportunity to actually speak to children like you. I mean, it's one of our most favorite duties and I mean, pleasant duties also that we need to speak to children like you. I mean, we get to speak to researchers, we get to speak to teachers, professors, but children is a really, you know, pet, uh, I mean, uh, liking that we have. Because we need to develop the future scientists from you. I mean, it, you need not have engineers speaking to you. Definitely, you will, people will be going to engineering, medical and all different fields. But it is very rare that we get the right people for science. I mean, I was always speaking to your uh, uh, principal just be before coming here. It is important that you people take up pure science, especially science, physics, chemistry and mathematics. These are important areas which will bring out technology. Science is what comes uh, prior to technology, you have should have a very good science. So with this brief um, in thanking, let me begin by introducing our organization. We are a Defense Food Research Laboratory. We are one of the constitution, constituent laboratory of Defense Research Development Organization, DRDO. I mean, we basically look into the Army, Navy and Air Force logistic requirements. Especially in Mysore, we look into the food logistic requirements. Okay, they eat, you know, very inhospitable terrains like Himalaya, Siachen glaciers, where our army requires to eat hot food. So we develop technologies for them, like the moment you open your uh, packet of food, it will be very hot. So this type of work we do for the armed forces, especially the army. And when you come to the air force, you must have seen the air force pilot. Most of them are wearing their full mask and they will not be able to operate. Both their hands will be occupied. So under those circumstances, how do you feed the uh, pilot, jet fighter pilot and even when you are doing sorties for a very long time, like three to four hours, they also have their uh, urge to I mean, defecate or I mean, have their urination. So how do you address such very simple requirements by the armed forces? This is what we do for the Air Force. And when you go for the Navy, you uh, must have seen submarines or read about it, you may not have seen. But submarines definitely you know and even big huge ships which go on a sortie for a very long period of time. How, what is their food requirement? And whenever you want to do cooking in submarine system, you know very well that oxygen is at a very high premium there. You cannot use oxygen for cooking. You must know very well that whenever fire is required, oxygen is a very important constant to generate fire. Meticulously done by so many uh, students and the guidance which has been given for such a project. 
I mean, one of our pet project that we are currently working is something related to this rocket as well, ISRO. How do you have food in a space atmosphere? I mean, it is not very simple. There is no gravitational force there. How do you consume food? The moment you open any packet, the food particles start, start flying out. If you want to drink water, the moment you open a water packet, all the water molecules will start moving. And this will also create problems for the in-house equipments there. So under those circumstances, in a space environment, what type of food? How is the delivery system involved? These are some of the aspects which we are working out. We are closely in uh, interaction with ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, and in the coming months or maybe in a couple of years, we will be uh, partnering with him to launch uh, three or four astronauts in a low Earth orbit. Uh, this is the project which is called Gaganyan. So shortly, I'll, our country will be, uh, you know, in one of those uh, few countries which are able to have a manned mission. So we will be giving the food logistic supports for those. I am really impressed by what you uh, students have done. Really uh, great work. I mean, apart from this, it is also important for you people to have the moral values in you. Okay, it is right that uh, science is important. Okay, the other day I was teaching my uh, son, a ninth standard, uh, uh, I mean, uh, student at uh, JSS. A Kannada lesson in a middle spot Prajan state is in your uh, ninth standard book. I mean, it talks about uh, Lord uh, King Vishnu Ardhana. He was one of the uh, celebrated kings who ruled uh, this part of the city, I mean, this part of the state. I mean, he was in Talakad region and those regions, Mysore Talakad region, he was ruling. Uh, he was, he went on an expedition to win over the Chola dynasty, which was there in that time. And then uh, his celebrated queen, uh, Queen Shantala was taking care of the administration, routine administration for this area. And during that time, he went across, she went across in disguise with his adopted son and then tried to find out what is the state affairs when the Raja is not there. So she went across the city and then she came to know that there was a uh, feud or there was a uh, you know, uh, difference of opinion between two parties. The first one of the farmer had sold his land and the other recipient who was, uh, who had bought the land from him, there was a feud with them. She was inquisitive and then tried to find out what is the dispute about. And then when she realized that this uh, farmer who had sold the land to the other farmer, uh, he came to know that by digging and then killing his land, he come, came across a pot of gold. So this gold, he was not ready to accept. The farmer who had sold, he was saying that once I have sold the land, it doesn't belong to me. So, the receiving farmer, he will say, this is something which your ancestral property. How can I take this property from you? This is not mine. I have given the price only for the land. So, I have not paid the price for the money or the gold pot that is there. So, this sort of a value system we had in this land. So, let us all maintain, in spite of our, all our achievements, whatever we do, let us have that very good discipline and value system. These are very important in life. Our uh, future development should always take into uh, account this value system which are imbibed in our culture. So, and I have a small uh, message also to the teachers. Kindly encourage students. I mean, we don't know. I mean, it's, I was also speaking to your principal about the benefits of technology. See, now I am able to interact with the uh, 40 or 45 classmates that I had during uh, my BSc days or... I mean, I know that most of the studious students who were studious during those times need not have succeeded in life. It was some other people I mean, who were, I mean, I, I can mention one of my classmates, uh, he was like, I mean, I never used to study. I mean, he was always wearing, uh, you know, uh, this ring, ear ring, nose ring, bangle, and then he was listening to heavy metal music and that type of, uh, I mean, he was really not interested in studies. And when we get to meet after maybe 20, 25 years, we were surprised that he is doing a high-end research and brain research institute in Japan. We were really surprised. So this uh, technology has made us realize that it is not only studying in which will ultimately lead you to great things in life. So let us learn lessons. These are lessons for life for us. I mean, kindly encourage, uh, irrespective of what they are doing. I mean, they may not be good at studies. Just think about Rishabh Shati. After so many years and so many failed attempts, he has come out with such a wonderful movie. 
the kantara i mean it's a brilliant movie we don't know and i mean starting he just wanted to make a few 20 crores and 500 crores is a huge amount that he has made he has brought out our karnataka industry into i mean world fame so let us encourage all type of students here please it is not only scientists maybe they shine in different professions I and mean, which will make our country proud so my sincere request to all teachers to encourage all types of people i mean students here and they'll come out well so i mean uh, in future like let me also give you a small insight to what type of research we will be doing in future so that will help uh, teachers also to motivate students bring out the interest in them in those areas okay now for one example we are thinking about uh, looking into 3d printing of uh, food like the way you print something on a paper sheet of paper using a printer we are thinking of doing 3d printing of foods just imagine whatever you are printing in your computer if you are able to hold it in uh, your hand so this type of especially this has lot of uh, use in uh, our space research if our astronauts are able to give computer programming and print out a particular food which they want to eat so this is what we are looking into another aspect is sustainable food production is very important like just think about for some time like we are using our agricultural land to grow fodder for the animals and then once the fodder is consumed by the animals then we will go on and consume the animals so this is not a sustainable development so instead of using the same land for growing food crops we might be using it for fodder so we are definitely considering about actually growing wheat itself so this is called cultured meat so this is one aspect which we are currently interested in so we are also uh, trying to you know use most of our brain into devising techniques to be able to uh, address such problems another area which we are looking into is the artificial intelligence okay so computer knowledge so whenever you are doing mechanization of the food production process one important thing is like when we are making a dosa we know what is the texture of the dosa how much roasted we need to let the computer do the decision is highly challenging this is where we are also interested in looking for future talent in this country like some of the products that we use in our country are very indian specific this specific to our indian palate we cannot make our indian people eat what the americans or the english people are eating our diet is very specific so these are some of the ideas which i would like to motivate people to think i mean any idea might not be crazy it might be crazy today but definitely it will be working out tomorrow so i will request all the especially the back sitting people the 9th and 10th people who would like to make the decisions in shortly next couple of years they will be deciding so please consider the pure science i mean of course we need to be perseverance in this a some amount of perseverance is required because this is sciences which will not let you immediately settle in life but definitely i mean your interests and uh, you should take precedence over your finances so definitely this will give you a lot of uh, satisfaction in future and then i would request all the uh, 9th and 10th grade people especially who are about to make decisions to consider pure science especially the physics chemistry and mathematics part to seriously and then try to come to this field we definitely needs talented people now for science and technology and only then there are so many denied technologies in our country nobody is going to teach those technologies for us even if you are ready to pay a huge amount of money like one example is making a jet engine nobody is going to teach you how to make a jet engine that's a very crucial component in a aircraft fighter aircraft so those technologies will only come because of high end science science is very important i mean engineers could be going into technology that's a different issue but actually the science part has to be strengthened in our in our country only then the technology will come and then we need not be worried about any most of the denied technology especially this is happening in our defense so uh, with this few words uh, i would again uh, thank the uh, management of uh, st thomas institution for providing me the opportunity to uh be able to address you thank you very much sir
to stand near your express as uh, the judgment is about to start in a short while.
even it will be inside this crystal, there will be combustion of fuel, which will create heat energy. This heat energy will be transferred to another pipeline, which will go into the wheels and it will be converted into mechanical energy, which will make the wheels to uh, move and it will, the car will be uh, in another car, there will be super car, there will be uh, wheel engines and in uh, basic normal cars, there will be V8 engines. This is the basic model of V4 engines.